family's the star of the sea school. It's easy to feel down right now. The weather is colder, the mornings and the evenings are getting darker. And oh yeah, we're still suffering from a worldwide pandemic. But Remembrance Day helped me to keep things in perspective. Imagine those young men heading off to World War I, thousands of miles away, willing to die to defend our allies in Europe. Not 20 years later, many of those same men, having already experienced the horror of war and the struggle of the Great Depression, suited up and headed off again to fight for freedom. Those brave men and women, that entire generation, are an inspiration to me. When I think about throwing up my hands in despair, I can think and realize that despite our recent challenges, we're so blessed to live right here and right now. Are we facing a threat from COVID-19? Of course we are. Can we survive and thrive despite this threat? Together we can. If we can muster just a fraction of the courage and selflessness of our greatest generation, we'll overcome this current crisis and come out stronger on the other side of it. The number of cases of COVID-19 is increasing rapidly. Though we have been blessed not to have had an outbreak or even an exposure yet at Star of the Sea School, the possibility remains very real. The measures we have in place are helping, but they are no guarantee of continued success. Please continue to do your part by keeping sick kids at home and encouraging your children to practice good respiratory hygiene, both at home and at school. Also, please be mindful of social distancing and mask wearing in public places, including our parking lot. Also, in accordance with the order of our public health officers, please refrain from play dates at this time. It seems as though the government is committed to keeping schools open. Although there have been many cases in schools, the danger to children from COVID-19 appears to be very low. Our staff is doubling its efforts to stay safe and keep the children safe as well. We're doing everything we can to be safe while also keeping our school a fun place for children to be. Things like safely planned sporting events, outdoor activities, and now online Friday assemblies have helped. As the number of cases continues to grow, there's always a chance that the government will have no choice but to close schools. The staff has been hard at work since August preparing for this possibility. Whereas last March, schools were caught off guard, this time around we've had time to prepare. We already have online learning platforms ready. Teachers are prepared to meet with students daily. Opportunities for synchronous and asynchronous learning are ready to roll out. Soon you'll be receiving a survey asking about your technological needs should there be a school closure. We're prepared and ready to thrive in an online environment if necessary. Our theme for the possibility of a school closure is that we will continue to be positive and proactive. Please continue to keep our school in your prayers and be assured of my prayers for you and your family. I'd like to end with a quote from my favorite movie. Bye everyone. I can't do this, Sam. I know. It's all wrong. By rights, we shouldn't even be here. But we are. like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something, even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Furrow, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. 
because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth fighting for.